How's it going to feel to get back on the road? You've had a little bit of a homestand here. Is it going to be sort of nice to get back on the road for a little bit? Yeah, it's always nice at the beginning of the trip, and then it kind of gets old quick. Luckily, this is a quick one, so we'll be in and out. But, uh, yeah, it'll be good. Hopefully, we can get some uh, wins strung together on the road and get a good road record. Going back to that game against Colorado, uh, I guess what were your thoughts on that? And obviously not the way the, se the series wanted to go for you guys going 3-1, and one, but uh, it's always a tough battle against Colorado right here. Yeah, I think we ran into a hot goalie there. He played really well the first night, and I think you know he played well the second night too. I think we were able to get some goals, which helped. Um, but yeah, I mean, you never want to split with a team at home especially, but I think that you know it was a good overtime win. We got our two points. Um, we could have just gotten one that second game. So uh, I think you just got to build off momentum. Hopefully we can string some wins together here. Going back to that overtime goal, is that something you've ever seen from Mikhail Burden, or is sort of anything he does still surprise you at all with that uh, hit he laid? No, I think he was just more just protecting the puck, kind of reverse hit. Yeah, it's just kind of what, how Birdie does things, and you know I don't think people are really expecting it. So as long as people aren't expecting it, I think it will work, but I think we're going to run into trouble if teams start to pick up on it. So, yeah, it was, it was a good play. And then the next couple home games you guys have here are all against North Division teams, teams you don't see very often with Laval and Belleville. Uh, again, is that challenging going against these teams that you don't face very often uh, here in your own building? Yeah, I think it's nice. It's a little fresh, fresh faces, fresh teams. You know, we haven't played Laval this year, so it'll be nice to kind of get a different system and kind of different, uh, different team in town. Um, I think, if anything, it kind of gives you guys a little bit more of uh, motivation to kind of show a team, you know, what you got and stuff like that. So I think it'll be a good series. You know, Seth Griffith has been a big leader for you guys. He had the, the overtime winner the other night. And, you know, he's kind of, quote unquote, one of those quad A players, right? You know, a very good, uh, you know, AHL player. Hasn't been in the NHL recently as much. How important in terms of on the ice? I know Seth off the ice is well respected, but on the ice, does that really set the tone for, you know, a young developing team? I think the biggest thing with Seth, and I think a lot of players kind of look up to him in the sense is, you know, he's always trying to make plays, try to get offense, but at the same time not trying to t give up too much defense. You know, it's, it's a tough position for a guy like that because he's a point player and he's always been in the top 10 in the league scoring and stuff. But, you know, he's also pretty good defensively if you look at his track record. So I think that's the biggest thing for him is being able to point produce, but also, you know, stay good in the, in the D zone and let us win games. A couple of years ago, uh, Seth was kind of bounced around a bunch of places, waivers and whatnot, and then you know, eventually signed here. And uh, you know, I'm sure that the fact that the NHL and AHL affiliation played into some part of that, as, as he said a couple times before, for yourself, when you were pondering your options the last time, was that a big benefit for you, the fact that the AHL affiliate was here too and you could have at least some sense of stability with living and whatnot? Yeah, I think it's a bigger thing as you become older. I think sure. you kind of start to realize that you don't really feel like traveling as much as you did when you were younger and moving right. around and kind of, you know, I have a wife here and stuff. So sure. I think that's the biggest factor is just having to deal with the other half of you. You know, it's not necessarily just me, but even my wife, if she had to come, you know, if I got called up another team and she had to be in a hotel room for a month, that's kind of hard on on everyone. So I think, yeah, it's a big it's a big factor in a lot of the older guys because it's a lot easier. It's convenient. You know, training camp, you're in your place. You don't have to be in a hotel room. So, yeah, there's a lot of advantages to it.